So what do you do in New York? And when you have kids and you're at Lincoln Place, of course you go to the circus. The Big Apple Circus, it's on today. Let's give you an, uh, an insight. This circus has been coming here for 35 years. Today I'm with my kids for 25 bucks, I can go to the afternoon. <laughs> So I'm here talking to Guon Dufremois and he's the artistic director of the Big Apple and uh, we just had a fantastic tour. We really enjoyed the old-fashioned uh, circus. Uh, that's how it feels like. How old is this uh, circus? So this circus is uh, 38 years old. And how long have you been with it? I have been with the circu this circus for 28 years. 28 years? Yes. Always on the road? Always on the road, always with this circus. Uh, I came for the 10th anniversary season. Yeah, yeah. How many people uh, see this circus every year? Uh, on average, uh, we, we have between 250 and 275,000 people who see the show every season. Okay, and now we are here in the Lincoln Center in New York, but how many places do you do uh, on the East Coast? Uh, the number of places varies from year to year, but we do between five and eight, nine uh, different locations. Okay, what floored me is that every year you have a complete new show, right? All the artists leave and new ones come. Absolutely, we, we have a lot of people who come back year after year. So what we do is that we do a brand new show from the set to the costume, the music, the, the scenery, and the entire cast except for the ringmaster and the animal trainer. They stay from year to year and do something different every year. But everybody else changes. Uh -huh. How many permanent people are in this circus? We have uh, roughly 50 uh, permanent employees. And uh, like now when we're on tour, we are 110 people on location. Ah, uh, yeah. And so it's 32 artists this year and that they are mostly replaced every, uh, every year. So, and, they, they, and they travel. When do you make the show and when do they do the show? I start planning the show usually two, three years before opening day. Uh, we start rehearsals four or five weeks before opening. That's the only time we have to actually put the show together. Mm -hmm. And then the artists stay with us for, uh, from opening, which is in September, all the way through June or July, whenever the end of the season is. And this circus, uh, who is it owned by? So the circus is not owned by anyone. This is a non-for-profit organization. So technically it's owned by the citizen of the state of New York. Uh, we are non-for-profit for several reasons. Uh, circus arts need support if you want to do good quality in a, in a small venue. Yeah. And then in addition to the show, we have a lot of community programs. Uh, the flagship is Clown Care, uh, over 100 clowns who go to hospital, pediatrics and geriatrics uh, institutions throughout the country. Mm -hmm. uh, we distribute tickets to other non-for-profit. Uh, we have a show adapted for hearing or vision impaired children, that's called Circus of the Senses. And we have also started a show that's adapted in a different way for children on the autism spectrum. Ah. And so, how is it difficult to put a circus like this uh, together financially to sell enough tickets and to get, raise enough money? Yeah, it is very challenging uh, to uh, keep this circus going. Uh, circus arts, especially in the United States, are not necessarily perceived as an art form that needs support. Mm -hmm. It's much more understood that a ballet, an opera, uh, yeah, all the other ones all here, all the in other Lincoln one Center, around, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's very well known that they need a lot of support. Circus is there is a connotation of of being an outfit that that makes a lot of money, and and this is not the case for us. So we need to do intense fundraising to stay alive. Probably 70% of our budget is earned through ticket sales and concession sales, but we need to raise 30% of the budget uh, through fundraising, and it, it's very difficult. Yeah, and, this, and New York is an important uh, part of that. New York is our major, is our hometown. We're here for three months. Uh, this is where uh, we need to do most of our ticket sales and most of our fundraising, yes. Yeah. Uh, in, at Lincoln Center, it takes us two weeks to break down uh, and pro approximately three weeks to load in. When we are on tour, it takes us 24 hours to, uh, to pack and approximately four days to be ready to perform again. What's the difference here and on tour? Uh, here we are on an esplanade that uh, does not allow us to put stakes in the ground. So we have to build a structure with concrete blocks and catenary cables, uh, which takes an enormous amount of time. Uh, you're French, your assistant is French, French. Uh, Art de Circus de Soleil is French-Canadian. What, what is it with French and uh, circus? Well, I think in France, for example, circus is really recognized as a performing art that is as prestigious as the others. 
and uh, so a lot of us have been exposed to circus. I went to the circus with my mother until I was 17 every year. It was considered normal. It was not just a kiddie show. It was part of the culture landscape. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, did you? What do you think? Fun. Want to go next year? Yes. <laughs>